Else to describe William J. Fisher Fondren. He was killed on Highway 75 here on Monday morning. It hurts a lot. I mean, it's still trying to, it's still to the point to where I'm not believing it that it's, it didn't happen. William Fondren's family in shock. A young man's dreams are now gone forever. He wanted to settle down, get married, and have more kids. His joking nature, his work ethic, are just some of the few things his family will miss. He'll just do stuff, like if you walk past him, he'll lift his feet up so you'll trip or something like that. You know, he'll be like, come on, man, with all that. The 24-year-old leaves behind his son, and his family tells me that he meant the world to William. His son was all he had. I mean, not all he had, but all he thought about. Neighborhood kids even looked up to him. This basketball hoop he put up just wasn't meant for fun. For him, that basketball goal could be life-changing. It was his way of seeing the kids staying out of trouble. You know? But they're out there in front of the yard playing basketball, then they're not out there in the streets doing anything negative. Fondren's death leaves a hole in the family's heart. It's going to hurt. It's going to hurt. I'm going to miss him. Their memories of William will be something the family will hold close for a long time. It's his memories and they'll be gone. In Topeka, Tom Wynick, KSNT News. The family of Fondren tells KSNT News they are currently making funeral arrangements.